Let's get right to it. The top job in IT is a data engineer. If you followed me for any length of time, you'd know that, because I've been saying it for about five years now. A data engineer is every bit as technical, if not more technical, than the machine learning engineer. This is one of the top data roles at any company. The other one is the DBA. This role isn't for noobs. Let's talk about a contract I was on a year ago. It was the simplest data engineering contract you can be on. The job was to move data from SQL Server to Snowflake. Sounds so simple, anyone can do it, right? So why did they pay me $150 an hour to do it instead of hiring a noob? First things first. The most important part of the contract was finding a solution that didn't strain the resources on the production SQL Server. Wait, what are the key resources on a production SQL Server? Do you even know? Do you know the tools you need to find out? Do you know how to create a baseline to quantify the resource pressure on that box? Because the company wanted to know all that in the interview. The three most critical resources on any relational database system, like SQL Server or CPU, memory, and I.O. If you didn't know that, you wouldn't have made it past the phone screen. You see, the company wanted someone with SQL and SQL Server skills. No skills or experience there, no interview. Next up is the data pipeline. I was moving data from SQL Server to Snowflake. The data was on-prem and Snowflake was in AWS. So how do you get the data from on-prem to AWS? Do you know? Do you even know what on-prem and AWS is? All right, we need to move some data. The data was on-prem. It needs to go from SQL Server to Snowflake and AWS. Got that. Oh, wait, I forgot. The data movement needs to happen on a synchronized basis. That data synchronization should happen no less than every 15 minutes. Oh, by the way, you need to set up Snowflake. They don't have any real Snowflake resources in-house. So, for those that think they're going to get an entry-level job in data engineering, I think you can see that the most basic job, created in a simple data pipeline, is far outside the technical acumen of any noob. Companies aren't handing out 300k salaries for something anyone can do. All right, let's go over this once more. Let's list out the basic skills. You need to create a baseline for the resource usage on SQL Server. You need to show that no serious resource contention is happening on that production SQL box. You need to know the data movement tool. You need to get the data from on-prem to Snowflake at 15-minute intervals without any lag. You need to install Snowflake and configure it on AWS for enterprise usage. You need to set up all the accounts for security on SQL Server and Snowflake. Once the pipeline was set up, you needed to ensure that it was working properly. If you want to work in any top data role, you need to learn SQL really, really well, and you need to spend a few years working in the real world with it. The only role I know of that's entry level is a data analyst role. Now, for those who think that AI is going to replace data engineering, why don't you explain in the comment section below how this very basic process is going to happen with a machine learning model? <laughs> yeah. I'll be waiting. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. We'll see you soon.